Um, no, uh, I actually have, have, I, no. <laughs> um, uh, not really. Do you want to take a guess? Uh, yeah, it's about freedom. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't know, I don't know, I don't care, it's a proper holiday, that's all that matters to me, I'm a student. <laughs> uh, yes, I do know why we celebrate. Freedom Day. South Africa was liberated. Okay, well, I think it's because of apartheid and how we came out of it. But personally, I don't believe we're free with the government that's going on right now. Because although they say we're free, really we're not. With all the taxes, with all the monies we're paying, really we're shackled by something that claims to have freed us. Well, what I know is um, the people who sacrificed um, their lives for freedom so that we as the generations that live today be free, be able to get education, be able to get services and other things. Yeah, that's all I know. I think we celebrate Freedom Day to remind us of our past, um, to encourage us to promote social freedoms um, and to also encourage us to realize what's going on in the rest of the world. So for example, Ukraine, Russia, Syria, um, places where we don't have the freedoms that we have here. We're celebrating 20 years of democracy. So it's freedom from the apartheid era. Okay, I think we celebrate freedom because like we free like black people are no longer oppressed. So I think that's the main reason why we're celebrating okay. it. Uh, um, because it's from apartheid times, like we don't have apartheid anymore, so practically we're celebrating the fact that we've moved from that area and moved into something else. So we basically celebrate Freedom Day because uh, South Africa, we celebrate South Africa's freedom, especially like um, after 1994 and everybody sort of became free in a way, which I don't really believe that we are all free. But yeah, um, we're basically just celebrating the freedom of South Africa, our democracy and how far we've come to be where we are currently. Wasn't it the day that Nelson Mandela was sort of inaugurated as president? Or it's, some, it's something to do with the elections and having our first democratic president? Um, democratically elected leadership, you know, being a free country for the first time in 94. So I suppose that's why we're having a public holiday. Um, that's when the first elections occurred. So um, that's very much significant. I mean, every time, I'm sure like when people think of that day, they think of Nelson Mandela throwing his ballot in type of thing. Um, that That's very iconic. And who wouldn't want to celebrate such a day, especially now that we've lost him? I'm sure it's going to become more significant. It's not the day the vote was cast, was it? Was it the day the vote was cast? Yeah. <laughs> the first, the first, um, well, basically everybody got the right to vote, so the 27th of April was the day that everybody voted. I think because we had uh, elections uh, some 20 years ago for the first time, democratic elections on the 27th of April 1994. Because that's the day that we had the election in 1994. That, that's the day like where South Africa got like freedom. Because I remember it was in 1994 uh, where they had like their first um, uh, uh, democratic elections. Yeah. As far as I know, Freedom Day was the first election, democratic election. So the struggle came to an end in 1994.